Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the garden that I created for the hummingbirds and the butterflies. This area here was my rose garden before the rose rosette disease destroyed a lot of my rose bushes. So I have to uproot them and replace them with lilies. This year I decided to add more plants that would attract hummingbirds and butterflies. So let me take you for a little walk around the garden. This is one of the few remaining roses that I have. And the pink flowers down here is called the, the evening primrose. Very invasive but I like how it spreads and gave me pink blooms. It added color to the garden. Next to the climbing rose is the Rose of Sharon. It has double pink flowers. I think it is called chiffon. I'm not sure but I am going to have another garden tour and show you these beautiful blooms. This one here is the bee balm. I am not sure if this is the red one or the pink one, but I planted several of them here. So I can't wait to see them bloom too. They grow taller. And these are the tree lilies that I planted. So I just planted it last November. So this is their first year to give me some blooms. I planted some gladiola here and there's a lot of daylilies here as well. Over on the side I planted a rebecca and more bee bombs. This is another rose survivor. This is the clematis that I showed in my previous video. Most of the flowers are gone. I have to put a fence around this garden because I have Barkley who wants to play and I don't want him to step on my plants. This here is the yarrow. Hummingbirds love them too. On the side, I planted the catnips. I am so sorry guys, I couldn't give you a picture of the flowers, but I have to wait till it blooms and I can take my own pictures. This is one of the Rose Survivor too. It has pretty flowers, but I know that's a goner. But anyway, over here, I have the Clematis. So I hope next year it will give me some flowers as well. Let's go back to some perennials that I planted here. I think this one is the Bleeding Heart. It's a Columbine, I think. Oh yes, I'm right. So I have to show that because I cannot remember all the names of the plants. I'm still learning. There's another tree lily that I planted last November. Oh, this is the Milkweed. On this side of the garden, I planted some chrysanthemums. They are different colors, so I would see that in the fall. Over here is the bell flower, I think. She said bell flower, but I'm sure it's bell flower. I don't know if there's a plant called bell flower though, but this one here is the milkweed. A lot of gladiola, more tree lilies, and I have some irises there as well. These are the stone crops. This is a different one. Hmm. It has gold flowers. Behind it is the autumn joy.
on the side is another rose survivor this is a pretty one too you can see the shadow i have to fire this videographer of mine why do i always see the shadow but anyway i couldn't fire myself right so i just have to keep her anyway this one is the liatris it has purple flowers the hummingbirds love this plant as well and more tree lilies some have blooms now that's beautiful so let's go down here because i planted a different kind of cat mint this one is called japanese cat mint i haven't seen the blooms too so i have to share it with you when i um can take a photo of it it's starting to have a little bloom i cannot wait and this one is the agastake i think that that's how we pronounce it agastake let's see what the flowers look like it has purple flowers that is so beautiful rosy posy how oh, i can't wait to see the blooms this is an obedient plant i have an obedient plant in the front yard but i don't have the white one this white one is called miss manners oh i can't wait to see the flowers of this one as well over on the side i have four red hot poker or i think they call it nephophia i have one flower that looks so beautiful and out here i have several of the hibiscus or the rose of sharon i have the white magenta blue and uh, a baby pink i think that's the sugar tip one this is the clematis that i just planted i actually have two and this one have this beautiful flower and on this side it's outside the gate this is called the um crocosmia hummingbirds love them too so let's walk over on this side because in the middle of this garden i placed the bird bath the fountain and i put a walkway to go around that fountain so it's easy for me to walk in the morning but on this side let me show you the vine that i planted this is called the jessamine this has yellow flowers i can't wait for it to go around this um arbor and i planted more of the tree lilies here so this one is new just last year but down here I have another I think this is a salvia and the Shasta daisy I have three babies and I have these taller ones this one is about ready to bloom and on this side I planted the ice plants just to because it's a hilly side I just planted them here as ground cover so I have different colors I think this will just spread I'm not sure but I just want to fill up that spot right there here's another rose survivor and another one here This is how it looked when it first bloomed. I planted some lantana here. I have the yellow lantanas. And this one is the cardinal flower. Planted several cardinal flowers. And I included an annual. This is the zinnia, which the hummingbirds love, and the birds as well. And not the birds, the bees, I mean. This is kind of like a buffet. Because here I planted a mixture of different flowers. I have the speedwell, the salvia, the coreopsis, the 
corn corn flower and I planted this peonies a long time ago so that's why it's here I know the hummingbirds don't love them but the bees do they really love the scent of this flower right here they're beautiful the scent is delicious I love it and I have more daylilies and tree lilies on the side I think this one is a cardinal flower as well the one below it's still small and this lily has a red flower and I put the hummingbird feeder right here so it's it kind of blends with the flowers here so the hummingbirds love to uh, land on this one and feed on the sugar water we'll talk about this hummingbird feeders later on in my video but behind this is the knockout rose it's it became a tree rose now but still has the rose rose set disease so i have to take care of that once it finishes um blooming this is the peach colored day lilies and below that i planted some petunias the hummingbirds love petunias as well this is the lilies underneath the fountain i planted some petunias and some of these animals right here i just love the sound of the water when i walk through the garden it's so soothing sound of the water and the chirping of the birds I just enjoy that quiet time I have in this garden this one here is the animal that I saw that I cannot resist so I said I have to buy this one and I'm glad I did because it's it added color to that area Over on the back side, I planted the garden phlox. I think it's a combination of the purple, the lighter color, and the white. So it's kind of hidden back there, but I need to put something in that space. I have more tree lilies here. I think the tallest one is called the trumpet lily. And I am going to show because I have a lot of trumpet lilies on the other side so that would be for another video more day lilies there's one clematis there more tree lilies and gladiola and i put some flux in the back as well and this one is about to open i think these are the white ones i have to look for the name of these tree lilies but that is very beautiful when it opens. I put two, this is my sitting area and over here I planted the lavender. So when I sit here or whoever wants to sit here can smell the fragrance of this coming lavender scent. They are just beautiful as well. And on this side I have more the lilies, different colors and i planted the speed well on here i think this is a pink or the purple ones and more salvia and this one let's see what the name is because i cannot remember the name it's the uh, even hard to say it but that's why i'm just showing to you the labels guys because sometimes it's hard to pronounce the names that's why i go for the common names of these plants salvia this is the cone flower right here the, you have the common oh this is the cat no that's the salvia And I have the Dianthus right here, different um, colors. 
I love the pink flowers. I know the hummingbirds love the red and the yellow flowers. But having the purple and the pink in the garden just makes it look interesting, makes it look beautiful. I love a colorful garden when it comes to hummingbirds. Oh, this is the raspberry beret coneflower. See, I have a little bloom right there. just sprinkled some red petunias here and there hoping that the hummingbirds would come to my garden I saw some hummingbirds the previous years that's why I decided to put these flowers for them talk about the bird feeders the hummingbird feeders there are different kinds and you just have to choose which one you like best I like this one better I bought this from Amazon and it's because it's easy to clean and I can see how much sugar water is left for cleaning we need to clean this hummingbird feeders every week we can soak it in water and vinegar and really brush it well for the sugar water we don't need to buy from the store we can just mix one part sugar to four parts water i boil my water then um, dissolve the sugar in it then let the water cool and put it in the bird feeders next video my next project I am going to work on this part of the garden I want to work on this corner just a little project at a time I want to improve this part make it look pretty before I show you the whole area I want to do this part first so hope to see you guys in my next video Thank you so much for watching and hope everybody has a nice day. See you in the next video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. And thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.